Hello and welcome back to my channel. Now today is Halloween and I do have makeup that I'm going to show you. Um, unfortunately I have already done this look and this was a character I was planning on doing in the beginning, uh, like back in April, but uh, I had flopped around from doing this to doing Belle to doing Genie to Beetlejuice to Medusa and I did get a Medusa headband and I, I have it in my other basket you can kind of see it up there but um, I'm not gonna risk getting it because I just got that stuff to not fall so um, I unfortunately it, it, it's just so uncomfortable and that was $14.99 I'm gonna see if I can finagle it a little bit and see if maybe I can do that next year or for another video well or and for another video so I actually have on this cute hooded dress I got from Spirit Halloween and uh, it was $25 including tax and it's in a size small and the size smalls usually range from a size 4 to a size 6. Um, I thought I'd be able to fit it but the arms are so tight and please ignore the sweater. The sweater is on and the blanket on my lap is uh, because of the fallout of my makeup I don't want to get it like all over my dress but it has a hood. But, uh, I am going to do a Hades Lord of the Underworld, so let's get into the makeup. And I do have some facts uh, pulled up about Hades that I'm going to sh share with you guys. So I've already primed my face. Now, let's get into doing a full face makeup. It's been a while. So, I've got my, and none of this is sponsored. These are literally paid for them all out of pocket. And uh, if you see the fact that my hands are blue and my ears are blue, I dyed my hair yesterday. That's why there's still, like, yeah, there's that big dollop. I got it the best I could without, like, stripping it off my hair. Uh, but I did find out that baby wipes and toner, like face toner, does really good to um, get off hair coloring. And scouring powder, it's like a bleach powder that sometimes you'll use on certain dishes. Um, that works well to get it out of, uh, the bathtubs and the sinks and the showers, whatever it is that you're using, especially if, like, to rinse, especially if you have, um, especially if it's textured, so I'd suggest using that. And I did it the best I could, but, I, oof, it's still not, it's still on there. So, let's get into the video. Now, if you don't know who the Lord of the Underworld is, Hades is, by Greek standards, by Roman standards, he is Pluto. And, oh, I also have jewelry, jewelry and everything, too. And I have a skeleton pin that I made last night. It's actually a charm. But, um, he's Lord of the Underworld, and it's also, uh, they will also use the term Hades to describe the, uh, the underworld in and of itself. And I'm sorry I say uh, a lot. Multitasking used to be very easy for me and it's kind of difficult now. So I just have my setting spray, which is my e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set, and my Black Beauty Blender, and my Believe Beauty Foundation. So just a couple of pumps on there. He is he was the oldest I better put on my yeah I'm gonna put on my concealer first so I've got this elf 16 hour camo concealer which I'm gonna put under the dark circles under my eyes because I got those like crazy mm -hmm. Then I will use this little sponge here once I get the foundation on my face to blend it out. Uh, he is the oldest son of Cronus and Rhea. I hope I'm saying their names right. And they were the, I want to say they were the Titans, right? Let me get this on and I will double check. Um... His brothers are Zeus and, and Zeus, yeah, Zeus and Poseidon, I about said Zeus and Hades, 
uh, they defeated their father and Titans to end their reign, claiming rulership over the cosmos, which is the universe. Um, they split rule. With Zeus becoming god of the skies, Poseidon becoming the god of the sea, and Hades god of the underworld. And he was Pluton for the Greek or for the Romans. And for the Greeks, and he was married to Persephone, the daughter of Demeter, who he obtained through deception after abducting her into the underworld. Whatever. Um, that part of it, I've seen a lot of speculation about, like the fact that Hades, Hades abducted Persephone. I've seen some where they said that it's actually misconstrued when they went back and reevaluated the ancient text. That it turns out that Persephone ran away, or and some cases she just stumbled across the entrance to uh, the underworld and couldn't figure out how to get out and Hades was doing his thing in the underworld and he, he looks up and there's this beautiful young woman in the underworld and she's not dead so they got to know each other they fell in love and all that kind of stuff and I kind of like that version better because it seems like when you look back on Greek mythology and everything, Hades was just doing his job. <laughs> like, he was keeping his nose clean, he was in charge of all the dead, and the others just seemed to really just not care. But, uh, that's just my personal shtick. So I'm gonna use a smaller blender to blend out my concealer. If you guys heard a cry, that's the kittens in the living room. Uh, but I do believe I got everything. I'm gonna look around over here real quick. Okay. For some reason, I seem to forget my nose and underneath everything. Oops. If that was really loud, uh, my Headset is sitting on my makeup case, so. Um, facts about Hades. He's known as the ruler of the underworld. It became his domination after he and his brother drew lots for the share of the universe. According to the Iliad, or according to Iliad, his dominion lies between secret places of the earth. According to the Odyssey, one must cross the ocean to get there. Ah! I'm distracted. I have an itch, so I'm taking. You had to hear that. That was probably my cat, Mushu, uh, picking at her children because they're not behaving themselves. So I am going to use up the rest of oh, it uh, my elf finishing powder. I'm just going to do this all over my face. He supervised the dead assigned to his realm. He was not... Though he supervises the dead assigned to his realm, he is not one of its judges. Three demigods served that purpose instead. And it does not list those names, but I'm sure I will find them here in a minute. Let me finish all these facts and finish my face and I'll find it. I was going to use the new face powder I got from my aunt, but I decided not to just because I didn't want to risk an allergic reaction. Because I haven't tested it out yet to see if I would have neck is blue from the end. I guess it could kind of add to the aesthetic. Because I'm doing Disney's Hades. That's why I'm blue. It's
it's kind of ironic. Uh, I rewrote my Marvel um, character outline, my OC character, and I originally had it to where her parent was, uh, one of her parents was Hecate. Yeah, Hecate. And I took a different quiz uh, for what Percy Jackson house I would get suited into, and I got Hades. So I kind of figured I would just run with that. And it actually was a lot easier to write for being the daughter of Hades and Persephone than um, the daughter of Hecate, which I was actually really surprised about, but it worked out better. Okay, um, he's de depicted as stern and young, unyielding, unmoved by prayer and sacrifice. Had a cap or helmet that made the wearer invisible, his wife Persephone. Whatever. It's always about the kidnapping, which I don't, I don't know. That might just be something I found on Pinterest, and it's just people wishing that it was that way. Alright, I am going to look up stuff for the Disney one, because these are just jumbled and going together. Oh, um, rules over the dead, the underworld, and riches. Gender male, or gender male, uh, symbols, Cerberus, the three-headed dog, uh, drinking horn, scepter, cypress, narcissus, and key. Consort Persephone, siblings, children. Now, they did have three children, and I am going to butcher the names if I try to say them, so I'm, I'm not going to, because I don't, I don't want to offend anyone. Uh, his dominion was separated from the land of the living by the following rivers. Styx, Lyme, Archeon, Ac Acreon, Plagnon, Inconcitrus. He employed the, uh, ooh, the Furies for torture, for the responsibility of torturing the guilty. He is described by some sources of the god of the Earth's fertility. The Narcissus and the Cypress are sacred to him. In his kingdom, he sat on a throne made of ebony and carried a scepter. He's known for his involvement with... I'm not going to try to say the name. The man condemned to the underworld forever, rolling a boulder uphill. According to legend, he allows him to return to Earth long enough to arrange his own funeral. Cypress and Narcissus. I, I know Cyprus, isn't that a type of wood? Oh yeah, they are plants. I'll look that kind of stuff up later, but let me get my keyboard. I was going to originally do this for Disney's Haze and just read you guys facts about him, but I didn't know if you guys would really be interested in it. And this is already 13 minutes in. I'm so sorry my videos are so long. I ramble. But, um, I got my face powder on, so I'm trying to put something up so I can work. Uh, here we go. Hades. Yes, Hades rules. I tried to fluff up my hair and it did not work. Okay. Let's see here. They have trivia about him. Trivia. His personality and Yiddish manner mannerisms are said to be based off of Jeffrey Kinsberg, a former Disney Studios chairman who left the company on bad terms to start DreamWorks Animation. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's, um, let's see. I got all this. I'm not going to do a blush, but I'm going to do a highlight, so we'll go ahead and do the highlighter. Actually, no, because there's a lot of fallout with my makeup, so we will go ahead and do these colors. So, uh, funny story, um, this broke the other day, but it's that, like, that thing. So, um, yeah, it broke the other day. And I did find out all these on here are bronzers. So there's the bronzers, the highlight, the mirror, 
the eyeshadows, the blushes, and the lip glosses. Um, and my friend suggested what colors to use. Come on, mirror. Yeah, that's great. Um, and she said use the blue from this palette, the blue from this palette, which is my Night and Day Revolution Pro palette, so I'd be using that blue. And then she said to use, or suggested to use the Pretty Too Faced, Pretty Rich, um, Silver Spoon, the silver. Now, I don't remember exactly how silver this one is, so I'm probably going to swatch it first. That was a lot louder than I expected. If I can, because these sleeves are tight. Alright. Um, he's one of the few classic villains without a memorable song. However, he does have a recurring instrumental theme in which they found as Speak to the Devil on the Hercules soundtrack. In the TV series, he does sing My Town, which, uh, when he takes over Athens. Now, I watched that episode the other day. <laughs> Actually, I watched it yesterday. And, oh my god. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to take my finger and dip into silver spoon I'm just gonna swatch it on my arm because I don't remember how silver it is I because I kind of want that smoky gray but not oh that would be pretty and then she said this blue from the butter palette which is really pretty which is very light actually I might use that as a blended color and then that blue <laughs> Ooh, yes. I really like these colors. Okay. Um, hold on. I just had the Phantom of the Opera pop in my head. <laughs> I don't want to watch that, but I can't find it anywhere, and I don't have it. Okay, so... That's gonna be the blending color. Or no, that blue is gonna be the blending color. This is going to be the base color. So I'm gonna go in with the, um silver spoon I'm just gonna do it up I don't know I'm, I'm just gonna play with makeup and pray <laughs> but let me see what name this blue is rolling tides wrong brother um we will do this brush, spray it with a little bit of setting spray, and we'll just play. Now remember, like I said, none of these are sponsored. And if my best friend is watching this and she meant that silver, that silver is glitter. So, um, I mean like hard glitter, so no. It is unclear as to why he was not aware that Hercules had not been killed by pain and panic back when Hercules was a baby, saying as he is the Lord of the Dead, he most like the most likely explanation is that he does not keep track of specific details about his role simply and simply assume that all had gone according to plan, but in the series he claimed that if someone was dead he would know about it. Uh, his TV his appearance in TV contradicts the film as he believes that Hercules was dead. And he was a teenager during the film. This is an open inconsistency when the production team and the production crew to allow him to be written into the episodes. I don't remember that. I don't remember him thinking he was dead as a teen. I remember him thinking he was dead as an infant. How dark is this going to be now? Because I set the settings right on. I don't know. It looks nice. Kind of purpley. But, um, look, that fallout, Jesus. You know what? I have another silver I am going to try really quick. Just as, like, a second opinion. So, give me just a minute. Alright, so I am actually going to do my LA Colors gray, just because I think that might look a little bit better. I'm sorry, Charles. I know I asked for your opinion. But, um, I thought that was going to be, like, a silver, and it's actually more or less just, like, a pale glitter. So, I'm not going to use that. I'm going to use the, um, LA Colors Gray. So, where did the brush? There it is. Let's make sure it's, okay, it just has some glitter on it. 
And before people are like, well, you shouldn't ask for people's opinions and then not use them. I asked for her opinion and even she was, was like, well, th that's just my opinion. You, you do what you want. Even shot there, there it goes. I need to get new brushes. I've been making a fair, a fair amount of money on home accounts, so uh, I think by now I would have like twenty bucks. In there, I need to get some good brushes because that one's just bending here, there, and everywhere. So I'm just gonna use this one. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this gray as the base color, and then I'm gonna go put that blue on my lid and then I'm going to blend it out with that lighter blue. Um, what else about the great god of the underworld? I have my town stuck in my head now. New Hades Come on, ladies, sing along with Hades. Um, the Greek god Hades was not evil, and Barty was one of the most person personable deities in the ancient of ancient Greece, despite his job with the Lord of the Dead. However, many other versions, for instance, Clash, on, Clash of Titans, depict him as a villain like the Disney version. Another detail regarding Hades was that was left out of the film was that he is married to Persephone, uh, the goddess of spring, and the two had a functional relationship. Uh, she had been planned to be written into an episode of the Hercules animated series as the subject of a custody battle between Hades and Demeter. Um, when Persephone received a design for the show, the episode ultimately went unproduced due to the heavy nature of its plot. Yeah, I, I could see why that would cause a rift, because... A lot of the time, a lot of the time with like the older cartoons, like ones that myself and my siblings have grown up around, like I was born in 98, so I watched a lot of the remakes of theirs, or not the remakes, but the reboots, um, they touched on a lot of really touchy subjects that children, it would more or less just fly over kids' heads, but it wouldn't for the adults, and that could have also, uh, triggered children who were also going through a custody battle, so... I understand. I mean, it's a totally different situation, given the fact that she's Demeter's daughter and Hades' wife, but still, I, I understand why they didn't do that now. Um, in the original myths, Hades was one of the six children of the Titan Cronus and the grandson of Gia, the Earth. The Disney version does not implicate his relationship to Hera, Demeter, or Hesta, who were his sisters in the myth. But uh, it is shown that he, Zeus, and Poseidon are brothers, like in mythology, although the myths had Hades as the oldest, whereas the Disney version has this the other way around. Okay. Uh, he seems to have a strong hatred for the goddess of the night, Hecate, calling her a witch at the conference of the Olympians. She, in turn, wants his throne and steals his power. He's one of the few villains with historic significance, others including Prince John, John Ratcliffe, Chernobog and the Hun army. I was gonna do Mulan, but considering how much, like this this year wasn't the year to do it, especially as somebody who does not have any Chinese blood in them, but considering that the remake came out and I heard it was god awful, um, yeah, I'm not, uh, I'm not touching it. I love Mulan, but no, mm -mm. Sorry girl, you're on your own. I better crease first, so I'm going to take a flatter brush, not that one, um, this one, and just, that way nothing like smudges, that way I get like an actual crease in my eye.
That way this color is solely on the lid. I have phantom camera in my head and it won't get out. Hold on. All right, now I'm going to go in with this other blue and blend. Like it. Not that I don't trust my best friend's judgment, it's just I was kind of worried because I'm still really new to doing makeup. This probably is not at all how it is that she, she thought it was going to look. But, uh, best I can do. <laughs> I'm gonna clean it up a bit. Hold on. All right, I tweaked it the best I could. Um, he's the only other villain to be another Disney villain in media canon to this film originally having conspired with Jafar in the Hercules TV series. Oh, I forgot about that episode. All right, I'm gonna go in for highlighter with my, uh, Luminizer 1 Perfusion Palette, and I, I don't know, fairy lights seem too pink. Yeah, it's too pink. And what about lightning? Fitting. Ooh, I like lightning. Alright, so I just go in with my foundation brush because I don't have like an actual fan brush. So just like that.
and I will highlight my cupid's bow uh, after I do my lipstick. So my lipstick takes forever, my mascara will take forever, so I'm going to pause this here and do it. I also forgot I am going to go in with um, a liner brush and I'm going to do black eyeliner. I don't think I'm going to do a wing. I might do a small wing. So here's hoping. And now we've just got to turn the little sunspot. And here's my look for being the goddess of the underworld. And yes, I have one of my rings to be my wedding ring to Persephone. Uh, and I even have this little beaded bracelet that has a leaf on it. So I was going to put like a pink band or something on uh, to signify that there is something with Persephone on here. But unfortunately, I do not have it. Um, I do, however, have this uh, Dolce & Gabbana garden perfume that I was going to put on. And it's one of those ones, like, without the, um, without a pump, so. But yeah, I am going to put this on. I am going to be just lounging around my house. Let me know what you guys are doing today for Halloween. Uh, my place right now is actually having a trick-or-treat. There are trick-or-treaters walking around. We are not participating or passing out candy this year, um, due to COVID, so... Uh, stay safe if you are going to parties. Please, for the love of God, think. <laughs> but uh, this is my look. I am going to be posting some TikToks. I will be posting some pictures on my Instagram of the full costume uh, on my personal one, which I don't have on here, and on my uh, second one. So please feel free to follow me at Sarah Sakura on Instagram, at Sarah Sakura on TikTok and uh, at Sarah Sakura on OnlyFans. So I will see you guys in my next video, and I love you guys. Stay safe. Mwah. Bye.